Can you tell that this video is actually a 3D scan made with a free app on a modern smartphone? Believe me, in the 40 years I've been using cameras, I find it amazing too. I'd like to share my journey delivering professional work in 3D and now thanks to augmentation, even 4D too. Hello, my name is Ian. I'm a 3D professional capture specialist. I use Scaniverse to help me preview, edit and share my scans in under a few minutes. None of the professional 3D work I supply today would have been possible without this app called Scaniverse, which I've been using since its release in 2020. I bought my first real camera in 1987 and have always been passionate about cameras of all kinds. During my career in media, I've been involved in professional photography and video productions. There have been so many changes in cameras during the last 35 years, and when 360 cameras came on the scene, I began using them to put businesses on a well-known world map. 360 cameras also led me to making virtual real estate tours, music videos and documentaries. In fact, people started calling me the 360 Dude, which I loved because I am an ordained Dudist priest. Shooting 360 videos brought me work from everywhere. But then I had an accident in 2019, so I had to sit around for a while until I could walk again. During this time, I was learning to turn 2D into 3D models from a Victorian invention called photogrammetry that requires lots of photographs of the faces of an object. In the area of the UK where I live, there are chocolate box towns full of historic monuments that make for excellent places to capture photogrammetry. I was really enjoying this, but it only lasted a few months before lockdowns and everyone was forbidden to travel. At around the same time, there was a new technology being added to Apple's phones and iPads called LiDAR, Light and Radar. LiDAR uses lasers to emit small points of light to construct a 3D mesh. I love that the LiDAR side of Scaniverse shows you've captured an area correctly when this red and white pattern disappears. It also processes all my models on the device, unlike a lot of scanning apps that require me to upload and wait for processing. Also, that clients can see my work in minutes in virtual reality, anywhere using Into the Scaniverse, a new 3D map of our world where you can view your scans in VR just moments after you capture. I never thought I'd be able to scan shiny or reflective surfaces due to the limitations I found when creating 3D with LiDAR and photogrammetry. It seemed it might always be impossible, but then these smudged dots called Gaussian splats arrived and changed the world of 3D capture forever. Just like mesh scans, these splats can be processed without the need for any internet connection, which is useful when I'm in remote places with poor or little connectivity. As a content creator, I share my 3D scans frequently and have made friends with developers and other professional scanners in the world today. In 2022, a leading virtual production company who were impressed with my scans commissioned me to capture historical sites in 3D for use in TV and films. They see the future as a place where it is wasteful to build production sets when you can simply 3D scan them instead. And now there's an emerging industry needing 3D scanners everywhere around the world. That's why having a free professional quality tool like Scaniverse allows us to 3D copy our world one scan at a time. It doesn't feel that long ago since I was the 360 dude, but 360 spheres are being replaced by these new immersive 3D scenes. This is revolutionary and better known as spatial computing. I also realised that most people associate you with what you do, so Scannerian just seemed a logical progression. But the Scanner Dude works too. <laughs>